The possessive adjective in French. Now, we need to talk about the possessive adjective in French, you and I, before it's too late. We need to talk about ways to show ownership before it's too late. And I keep saying before it's too late because I saw the movie The Matrix earlier and I haven't seen the end yet, but I've seen enough to believe that in the end, the machines win. And if that's the case, then we need to talk about old things, possessive adjectives in French now before it's too late. So let's get to it. Let's get down to it. Let's get started. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get the party started. And l'adjectif possessif in French is used to show ownership. And it agrees in gender and number with the noun. You know that French knows gender, masculine, feminine. Complicates everything. In here, we have the table. So here are the details. You want to pay clo close attention to that chart, table, what you're seeing right now. Because in English, we only have this, my, your, his, her, it's, our, your, their. In French, woo, uh-huh, enough to give you a headache. And the good news is that it's a tiny bit less complicated than you think. It's still complicated, but not very, very, very complicated. And I'm not going to be the guy who's going to tell you that everything in French is easy, because clearly it's not. <laughs> Come on, if you want to pick up an easy language to learn, do not start learning French. French is a language that, that you have to work for, you have to deserve it. And it's true, it's not always hard, but... It's really a language that takes time to sink in. And it's so beautiful that really putting your heart into the practice is key. It will pay dividends over time, trust me. Mon, ton, son, the singular masculine. Um, notre, votre, leur. This is all the possessive adjectives on that side. Now we have the feminine form. Matassa. Notre votre leur or mon ton son. And this we'll talk about in a second. It's very important. This rule number one, this is an exception. Finally, we have the mettez no vos leurs. This is a plural form. And eventually now we can go and have a look at that rule number one. You know, this exception. The feminine singular changes its form when followed by nouns that start with a vowel and an aspirated H. For example, we have a feminine word, son idole, here. But son, you know, it sounds a lot like the masculine form here, except it is feminine because it is an exception. So this is why I'm not saying c'est sa idole. And in theory, it should be sa idole. In the perfect world, it should be sa idole. In the perfect world, there would be a lot of things different. But in this world, we use son because it is an exception. Keep in mind that role. That role will help you to perfect your French. C'est sa idole, incorrect. An idol in English. C'est son idole, that's correct. Rule number two. The possessive adjectives are replaced by the definite article when combined with reflexive verbs. Let's take an example. She washes her hair in the morning. Elle se lave ses cheveux in the morning, right? In le matin. It should be that. But no, French language is a bit harder and has that exception here. When you have a reflexive verb, and you know what it is already. Se laver, it's a reflexive verb. Uh, a reflexive verb. When I'm washing something, je lave quelque chose. But se laver, I, when I wash my hair, it is reflexive. And in that case, we cannot combine the possessive adjective uh, with reflexive verbs. We have to use the definite article les, les cheveux le matin. You'll have an exercise a bit later uh, that will check if all that knowledge uh, makes sense. And... Now we're going to put examples in practice. And the other day I was watching a video and I couldn't believe my eyes when I thought, wow, there, there are no examples here. And there was plenty of very interesting theory, but then no example. So I was thinking, this is very, very interesting for a linguist or a person, you know, who 
has time to rewrite the parts of the book that should have been written in the first place. <laughs> but, well, hopefully those examples will help you acquire this grammar part of the French language. It is your droid. C'est ton droid. Here, you'll notice that magnificent i tréma, which is an exotic vowel of the French language. I tréma. And it is good to know it because if you have the combination of two vowels, like O and I, in French you're going to have the son wa. But here, with the I tréma, you pronounce the E separately. O-I, O-I, droid, droid. I'm not saying droid, I'm saying droid, because it is an I tréma, an I, with the tréma on top of them, the two dots that you can see, beautiful dots in front, uh, on top of the I. It's her innovation. C'est son innovation. It's here. Um feminine word, and I'm not saying ça. Why? We talked about that a bit earlier. Is because it's rule number one. We have the, the adjective here that follows a vowel. And in that case, even if the word is feminine, <laughs> we use... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I know, it's a bit evil what I'm doing. And really, the French language is not evil. It's your friend, but you have to tame it. We have here a feminine word, starts with a vowel. And then we have son, adjective, possessive adjective, which is in theory in the masculine form. It's our bionic arm. C'est notre bras bionique. And there's a market for bionic arms. You might work in that, in that industry, in which case send me a message, shoot me a message so we can have a conversation about bionic arms. This is a futuristic topic. C'est notre bras bionique. Our becomes notre. It's their reality. C'est leur réalité. And uh, here, you'll notice that leur remains the same in the masculine or the feminine form. <laughs> At least, this is not a problem there. And we have eventually, it's your mother's, which is a strange example when you think about it. It's your mother's. C'est tes mères or c'est vos mères, depending on whether I'm addressing one person C'est tes mères. Look, it's your mother's. And then, c'est vos mères. Look, it's your mother's. And then, I'm talking to several people, and there are several mothers, <laughs> which is even stranger. Um, and now, the best part. <laughs> the, next, the exercise. The exercise is ready for you. It's waiting for you. And it's inviting you. It's, it's shouting your name. Um, unless you really don't want to improve your French grammar. Of course, in that case, I do not recommend you click the link below the video. At any rate, the machines are probably coming now. They're coming, they're coming for you. They're going to get a lot of people unless we do something. Hopefully, French grammar to get ourselves in problems that we want to solve instead of getting involved in other problems that might change the lives of a lot of people. The link is below the video. See you soon.